friends. This video is a short review of the so-called multi-pack um, fencing bag by Fence for Fun. The whole name of the product is multi-pack fecht rucksack tasche and roll bag in einem or in English multi-pack fencing backpack bag and trolley suitcase two in one. The price is 172 euros and 55 cents and uh, the company is a company based in Germany. From the web shop, I would say they specialize on Olympic fencing. About ordering and shipment, they bear really fast. We ordered, then we got a few days, like one day after, two days after, I got uh, an email by them where they told me how much the ship shipment from Germany to Austria would cost. We confirmed, we transferred the money and like after we transferred the money, the day after, they already sent the package and two days after, it was here. So they were really, really fast which I appreciate it much, especially if I think of a lot of other companies in the HEMA bubble where like in most cases I know I have to wait at least for several weeks if not even months. So a big thumbs up for that. And now I will just show you the new bag. This is the bag, new and empty. And you have two, strips, two straps here that fix the upper part then you can open it up with two zips and this is the inside then again you have two straps here and that you can use to fix your swords um, the back part is uh, is made of wood, so that is um, so it stays in shape, uh, it stays in form. And uh, the most important feature, or one of the main reasons why I got it in the first place, is it has wheels, so you can drag it along. Uh, you have an additional, you have additional space here. And I think the only thing left to show you is that you can carry it on your back. That's why it's called uh, a backpack is you can carry it and you can drag it on its wheels. So that in short is the multi-pack. This is my old bag. I've been using it since 2021, so several years now. Uh, this is what it looks like if it's fully packed. Um, I'll show you just what it looks like if you got it on your back. So this, this is what it looks like when I carry it on my back, on my shoulders. And if that's not possible, I can drag it. So far the bag is in good shape, it has endured quite a lot, like uh, what, have, what have I been using it for, so you, you know what this bag has been through uh, or has not been through. I basically use it around twice a week to go to training, most of the time fully packed, uh, because as a coach I often also fit gear into it for the beginners for example, so it's really packed heavy most of the time. Additionally, I transport it by car, but very often also I use public transport, which means that compared to like someone who only you know um, carries it to the car and then from the car into the gym, this one has been through a lot more. Nothing has broken except for two things, but uh, both things are not fault of the manufacturer, but they are completely my fault. Like, I have a hole somewhere because an error ended up in it. Don't ask questions. And the second thing is that happened just uh, last week. I threw it into the car and I wanted to push it backwards so it would fit better when I pushed here, like this, and then I heard a crack. And it looks like I broke something here, but um, I guess I should have treated it with a bit more respect. So far it doesn't seem to have much of an effect. The only thing I noticed it, that it is that it, it doesn't stand anymore. 
see what I mean? Because this one, the new one, stays in place if you leave it, but this one not anymore. By the way, if you find this video useful, maybe consider to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you. So then let's come to my rating. Um, let's presume that 100% would be my perfect HEMA backpack or fencing bag. Um, so let's start from 100%. Then I would first of all, I would deduct 5% for non-ergonomic backpack. Let's call it that. It's a non-ergonomic backpack. Like you can carry it on your back, but it doesn't feel that good. So if, if it is fully packed, if it is very heavy and I have to walk um, a bit longer with it, then I really start to feel that it is not really made for comfort. It, it starts to feel really uncomfortable. But I will deduct only 5% for it because, um, I mean, it has wheels so I can still drag it behind me. I deduct another 5% because Everything fits in it. My fencing mask, my jacket, the side swords, um, but my two-handed sword, or the spadone as we call it, the Marozzo spadone, does not fit in it, unfortunately. I mean, it kind of does. You can put it in with the hilt down here, and but then still like 20 centimeters of the blade will, uh, will come forth here. And for that I deduct another 5%. The biggest minus I mean, I say minus, this is still my favorite fencing bag, but um, I deduct 10% for another feature that uh, I find to be really annoying, which basically is how the straps here were engineered. Because you see these parts here? You can, you can adjust the length, obviously, of these, but um, the thing is, if you drag it on its wheels behind you, these here will often get caught up in the wheels. That is really annoying. Like every time it happens, it doesn't happen that often, but when it happens, you know, it gets stuck. Sometimes it even falls over. So that's really annoying, especially if you're using public transport, there's a bunch of people around you and stuff. I really don't like that. And uh, besides that, this is just me. Again, this is my personal review, but when you drag it behind yourself, these parts here will always be dragged over the ground. And depending on where you are, that can be pretty disgusting in my personal opinion. So that is the biggest minus. So another 10% deducted, which leaves me at 80% total for the multi-pack uh, by Fence for Fun. As I said, so far my uh, absolute favorite. I hope this video was useful to you. Um, Feel free to tell me in the comments what backpacks or HEMA bags you use and what you like about them or don't like about them. And besides that, I wish you a wonderful day and see you in the next one.